Hello dear friends, my name is Mutta Palpola and I am working as a business engineering consultant for past 10 years. Uh, today my topic is how to use auto-optimize option uh, on uh, Databricks uh, in a uh, AWS environment uh, to improve the performance during Delta Table conversion. The reason to take this topic uh, was that uh, I had to work uh, on a data ingestion project uh, and I faced a lot of issues uh, during uh, Delta Table conversion. So, I went to the Databricks documentation and also I got uh, feedback from my friends so they uh, commanded to use this option so I applied it and I get the advantage so I decided to do this video to share that experience with you. So first of all let's uh, go through that documentation and let's get a try, try to understand actually what's the purpose of using this one and uh, uh, what kind of commands that we have to use to enable this option. Okay, this is the article that are uh, provided by Databricks under uh, Data Lake uh, guidelines and optimization uh, sections. So uh, here it explained that uh, it's a feature that automatically compacts small file and du files during the individual writes to a Delta table, and also provided uh, three scenarios that uh, we can use this option to improve the performance. So uh, today I'm going to use uh, this scenario. Uh, the create table of uh, scenario and sh will show you how to uh, implement this uh, option and uh, in this article they explain how uh, this optimize uh, option works and uh, the way the way that we can implement this so they provided three options so i'm going to use this last one the all new tables there are two commands that we have to implement uh, in our notebook and uh, we'll show you how to do it okay uh, let's move to our demo and see how we can uh, implement this one Okay, uh, here I upload few files into S3 buckets. Uh, the file formats are parquet and uh, compressed using snappy option. And here you can see uh, average file size is close to uh, 300 dB and these are very large files. And uh, we can use them uh, to see the perform actual performance when we are create converting these files into delta format with and without auto-optimize option on Databricks. Let's see how to do it. This is the uh, Databricks cluster that I'm going to use on AWS to read sample files from S3 buckets that I showed you uh, and convert it to Delta format. Uh, here you can see uh, I use the standard cluster mode with the uh, 10.5 uh, Databricks runtime version and uh, here I am going to use 30.5 GB memory for course uh, worker uh, with minimum worker 2 and maximum worker up to 8. Okay, uh, let's see how to uh, create a notebook and uh, do this conversion, uh, delta conversion. Okay, uh, this is the uh, sample uh, notebook that I created for this demo. And first cell, uh, that I'm, I'm going to uh, read uh, the parquet file files from S3 uh, into a data frame, and then I'm going to convert that data frame into a delta table. And uh, the third cell, I'm going to uh, get the count uh, from that delta table. Okay, uh, let's execute this part. Okay, a job completed. Now, uh, command took 4.92 minutes to complete the delta conversion. And uh, let's see some stats from here. Yeah. Uh, here you can see this is the place that we start job, and this is the place that uh, write completed. So, um, now uh, we can try out our auto option uh, on same uh, file and see how we can uh, use the time to conversion to convert uh, of the delta table and to the performance. Okay, let's take a count from uh, the delta table that we created. Okay, now the both counts that uh, are same. The data frame and converted uh, delta table count are both the same right now. 
okay before we start with auto optimize option let's uh, revert all the things that we did before that okay uh, first uh, let me drop the table okay now that completed okay in our file location we uh, created the we set the location into demo folder and we mentioned the delta folder is the actual location for our converted delta format table so we have to remove this table uh, from uh, this folder uh, let's see how to do it here i'm going to use this command to remove the files from uh, s3 bucket okay that's completed okay let's start with auto optimize option okay here i am going to use uh, additional commands to uh, enable the auto optimize option uh, during the delta conversion uh, let's uh, execute this part and see uh, what's the performance uh, that we can gain uh, from these two commands Okay, a command executed successfully and it took 1.61 minutes to complete the uh, job. Now, if we uh, check previous uh, operation without uh, auto optimize option, previous task or the previous uh, job that we executed without uh, auto optimize, it took 4.92 minutes to uh, convert the same uh, data frame into a uh, delta format. So, we gain a significant uh, amount of optimal of performance will be using this uh, operation so uh, actually this is not going this is not not only the only fact uh, to improve the performance so it's actually uh, the cluster size and the, its performance also uh, impact to this one so if we are using a, a good cluster uh, with this option i think we can uh, get a significant amount of performance uh, when we are writing uh, converting uh, files into delta tables okay that's the end of our demo and here we learn uh, how to read and convert data frame into a delta table and uh, we tried it out uh, with and without auto optimize option and we saw the performance improvement and also i mentioned that in databricks uh, documentation there are three uh, scenarios that we can use it uh, to get this uh, performance so we uh, tried this uh, one thing that uh, creating a new table so uh, this is the end of uh, the video and thank you for watching thanks